this town Step so light, I barely touch the ground And everybody wants to know how Brick by brick, I put them in the ground Good morning everyone So it is Sunday, I think it's the 28th um, The day before Memorial Day and um, I just finished my first day of cardio for my prep. Oh my gosh, it was a tad bit rough. Um, I haven't done cardio since before the US Open. Um, I was obviously doing cardio going into my meets just because I was making sure I made weight. Um, and then after the meet, really the only cardio I've done is like playing around with strongman stuff. Um, or like pushing the prowler, but nothing too like crazy cardio like. Um, and then I've been hiking and kayaking, but that stuff is just fun. So this morning was a nice little wake up call. I'm definitely out of shape, and that is probably why I don't like reps anymore. So today is the first like really hot day in Portland. I think it's like in its 90s today. Man, it's hot. Look at that hair. Oh my gosh. Today was also my first high day. Um, so I had 2,340 calories um, with my macros, and then my coach said to replace my meal six with a cheat meal. So it's a fun way to start off my prep but it definitely was a lot of food i'll have to get used to eating that much um at least for as long as he has those high days in there um but i'm full and then i gotta still eat but definitely not complaining because i know that's gonna change as prep goes on but i'm here smashing some legs um i worked today and so i'll be out of the gym pretty late so it's kind of hard to do a cheat meal but um, I'll be changing the days. I talked to my coach about that, and he's okay with me changing it to a day I don't work. So for now, I'm just trying to get in my work as fast as I can and taking a quick moment to record and tell you guys a little bit about what's going on. So I'll um, talk more about how my prep is going, and I'll obviously continue that as my prep continues. So stay tuned. So as you may know, I started my contest prep um, going towards my pro debut. I am super excited. I don't know if you've seen any of my posts, but I swear as the days go on, I get more and more excited. Um, as of yesterday, I'm 19 weeks out from one of my shows and 15 weeks out from the other one. Um, I've been saying I'm 20 weeks out and 19 weeks out, but I am forgetting that my first one is closer. So it's just crazy to think that I'm in contest prep again. Um, it's been almost two years since I've been on stage, so I'm super crazy excited just to see um, what is underneath my fluff. But before I can make some awesome progress and see some awesome results, I have to make sure that my body is in a good place first. Um, and by that, I mean just my recovery 
For some reason, after my two meets, my body has been killing me. So I don't know if it's just because I've been putting off taking Epsom salt baths and putting off um, stretching and rolling and recovery. And shoot, it might be the fact that I stopped doing cardio because I feel like this is definitely the worst my body has ever felt. Um, but nonetheless, I have to work on better recovery. Um, I have to be consistent with rolling and stretching. Um, I would personally like to take an Epsom salt bath once a week. Uh, going to the gym and following your macros, yes, those are important, but I mean, they're not really going to take you as far as you possibly could go if you aren't prioritizing your recovery work as well. I feel like the better I've gotten at bodybuilding and then now powerlifting, um, the more I have to make sure I take care of myself because the, the harder the diet gets, um, or at least the more extreme it gets because I'm at a higher level, the harder I will push in the gym or with cardio. And then with powerlifting, the stronger I get, the more weight I have on my body. So that's just more taxing overall. So I really, really have to make sure that I'm taking care of myself outside of the gym. Tony and I are out canoeing, and there's an eagle up there. How cool. Look at the eagles, they're flying. I see you. Oh, he's coming after us. Oh, put on the show. That's so cool. Yeah. They're leaving us. Bye. We are all done canoeing. I mean, kayaking. Puppy, where are you going? And there's a little puppy here. Or doggy. So cute. So, Tony and I went outside all day today. I don't know if you could tell. So this wraps up week one of my prep towards my pro debut. Everything is going great so far. I mean, the workouts are the workouts. They were the same even before prep started, but obviously my macros changed because I started working with Justin Harris um, and he has gotten me eating quite a bit of carbs pretty much every day and especially on my refi day. I don't even know what to do with myself with all of the food I get um, and I also get a cheat meal each refeed day as well so that should be fun um, prep is starting off strong I just have to make sure that I can get my body feeling good so I can train just that much harder but all in all I am having fun inside and outside of the gym as you saw and I'm going to continue to do that as long as possible. Um, in my own opinion, I don't think that I get grumpy during prep, but of course, we will see. Um, but stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Please like, share, and subscribe.